everybody, it's Toronto Guy here with another uh, delightful new words every week. Delightful, yeah. Episode of Toronto Guy Cooks. Today on Toronto Guy Cooks, we're going to be making a super awesome butternut squash mac and cheese. This is something I've made before years, well, not years ago, about five years ago, six, it's probably six now, going on six. Wow, damn. I'm the greatest chef on earth. About six years ago, but I made it with mozzarella cheese. Today we're gonna make it with cheddar cheese. Back when I made it with mozzarella cheese, it was awesome. With cheddar, it's gonna be even more flavorful. It's gonna be lovely. But we're gonna start by, we're gonna roast our butternut squash. I'm preheating the oven at 400, um, 400 F. All right, 400 F, that's 200 C. We got our squash, it's been peeled and cored. Yeah, peeled and cored. We're gonna cut it up into little cubes and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so tasty. So, so everything. Delightful. Let's cut it up, baby. All right, so that's one squash. You saw one of these pieces trying to hide, man. They're like, no, no. What do I always say? If you don't make a mess, you fail. That's right, so, but we cleaned up that mess, but we're still not gonna fail because we're awesome. Let's continue cutting it on up, baby. Love it. All right, yeah, baby. Doesn't matter if they're not all exactly the same shape and all that other same size because of what we're going to eventually do is after we roast it, we're going to mash it up to put into our sauce and it's going to be phenomenal. So we got all our butternut, butternut, butternut squash chopped. We're going to put it in our Freeman bowl. So get in here, squash. Ah, ah it already smells good, man. Butternut squash. It's a member of the, uh, of the pumpkin family. I'm pretty sure based on the, uh, the insides with the seeds. So I'm just going to make shit up as I go along and I'm probably right because I am after all a food superstar. Right on. Get in there. Yeah. Come on. Get in there. That's right. This is going to be so good. Butternut squash has that sweet taste to it. Almost like a sweet potato. <sighs> you see, when I made this some years back, like five or so years ago, the mozzarella cheese, because mozzarella cheese has a lighter flavor, it really brought the sweetness of the butternut or the butteriness, if you will, of the butternut squash to life with the cheddar. Because I remember when I made this with the mozzarella back four years ago and posted it on my real name Facebook, I included everything and said, I made it with mozzarella cheese, but next time I want to try something like cheddar or goat cheese to really bring a more cheesy flavor to it. So I'm going to do that now because I'm the best. All right. To this, we're going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. There we go. E-V-O-O, -O, extra virgin. That, like this, this olive oil will never have its cherry popped. Got some chopped up garlic. Yeah, oh, awesome. Get in there. Well done. We're gonna have a little salt to taste. There we go. A little pepper to taste. There we go. We're gonna add more pepper later because I've, as I've said many times, the combination of pepper and cheese, especially cheddar cheese, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, we're just gonna toss this. Get it all nice and coated and ready for roasting in the oven, baby. 400 degrees. We're gonna have it. We're gonna bake it 400 degrees for 25, 30 minutes. Take it out, mash it up. Have our sauce going. Make our pasta. Today's pasta is penne. I would. I wanted to use shell, the shells, but the only shells that they had at my market across the street were the small ones. I wanted the, like the, the the next size up, and they didn't have that size. So we're going with penne. It doesn't even matter, man. All pasta is the same. It's just how it's shaped. Come on, man. All right, there we go. Love it. Nice and coated. Now we're gonna take our squash out, put it on our pre-aluminum tray. Oh, look at all that garlic and oil trying to stay behind. You don't think so. You're gonna join. You're all gonna burn and roast with your new best friend, Mr. Butternut. All right, get in there. There you go. There you go. And if you want, if you don't want to use, well, you can, inst uh, if you don't want to use actual garlic, use garlic powder or add garlic powder to this. Have a real garlic with garlic powder. Let's spread them out nicely. Here we go. Don't want to have them really piling on top of each other. You want to cook them as evenly as possible. Just like if you were roasting potatoes. 
Butternut squash is a nice alternative to potatoes. If you want to have roasted mashed, mashed butternut squash is amazing. Make it this way or, or boil it, mash it up, some cream, some garlic, some salt and pepper, maybe some cheese in there, some fresh herbs. <sighs> I'm such a great chef. I mean, I used to laugh at those women who would marry themselves, but now I understand. But of course, they weren't good cooks like I am. I'm an awesome cook. You see, all you MGTOW dudes who used to watch me in the past, you should be watching me now. This is going your own way, not sitting on the internet. You know what? I want to watch the 18th video in a row, in a row of a MGTOW guy saying the exact same thing. All right? I get the anger. Move the fuck on. Do something with your lives. All right? Do something. You're not going your own way when you're sitting on a computer. Let me click the next video and hear the same exact thing I just heard but from somebody else. Yeah, man, fuck that shit. I'm going my own way. Let me watch another one. Yeah! Oh, come on, people. I get it, but come on, you're, you're, ugh, whatever. All right. In the oven, let's put it in the oven. All right, preheated. Let's turn the light on so we can watch it. Uh, set it for 20, uh, set it for 27. 27 minutes, 25 to 30, whichever you prefer. And it's gonna, it's gonna be nice and roasted. It's gonna be soft. We're gonna put it back in the Freeman bowl with some cream, man, <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit of cream, not too much cream, just enough. Actually, maybe we'll just put some butter or maybe we'll just mash it up as is because the sauce that it's gonna be dumped into is gonna have melted butter, cream, and grated cheddar in it. Mix it all up until we get a nice thick sauce, pour it over our cooked penne, taste test it, take the picture, say goodbye, and move on with our lives. <sighs> We'll see you in about 27 minutes. Like to stir big pots of water. Cause I'm a man and that's what men do. We stir water with spatulas. Yeah, 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 ooh, ooh. All right, look at it boiling, all right. Stop it. All right, it's been 27 minutes. Our water's boiling. I'm gonna add the pasta right now. There's three cups of penne. Get in there, that's right. Give it a stir, I put some olive oil and some salt in the water. Lovely, I'm gonna have this cook for about seven, eight minutes until you know I feel like it's ready. We got about a quarter cup of butter, salted butter, melting in our pot for our sauce. There we go. You can take a hike for now, as we now use our Kermit mitt. Kermit, Kermit mitt, yeah. To get our butternuts, oh yeah. Look at it go, no justice. Bad lighting, your fault, because you're selfish with your money. Let's, we're gonna put it in our Freeman bowl real quick. All right, so it's in our Freeman bowl. Smells lovely, garlicky, oily, salt and peppery, butternutty. Ah, butter's melting. Once it's done melting, we're gonna add our cream. But until it does that, oh, I'm very pumped, man. Yeah, baby, let's mash up these lovely, ah, careful, man, it's hot. Lovely, it's because it was hanging over the Freeman bowl. Lovely butters in the tea. Don't even need to add any cream or butter. Oh, it's mashing up nicely on its own. Beautiful, baby. Ah, oh, look at it, man. Nice and thick and mashy. Perfect, baby. You know, let me just give it a taste before dumping it in with the sauce because I love mashed butternut squash, baby. <sighs> Come on, man. Oh, that's so freaking good. You know what? Today's recipe is butternut squash later, everybody. Oh, man, awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, as per usual, you keep mixing up your pasta. Don't want it to burn, stick to the bottom, and get all, oh my God, that's not cool at all. There we go, our butter's practically melted. Oh, man, mashed butternut squash, baby, with olive oil and garlic and salt and pepper. Great little side dish you want to have for Thanksgiving, Christmas, any time of year. Have it for yourself, have it for dinner, man. Reach around city, baby. I'm telling you, love it. We're gonna add our one cup of milk. Oh yeah, baby. Awesome. Now we might add more milk as we go. But until then, let's just whisk it on up, baby. 
Should I just use another spatula for this, man? It's gonna make a lot of noise, yeah. Yeah, the, there's your cameo appearance, get out of here. There you go, so here's the other one. There we go, nice and quiet. Yeah, just like the ideal woman, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna let this warm up before we start adding our cheese. Seriously, man, that butternut squash, oh, so freaking good, as is. So good, damn. <laughs> and we've already grated up some, this is medium cheddar cheese, not strong. This is medium, so the texture's a little soft. They're a little snob, oh yeah, oh, so. Oh, the after effects of the butternut squash roast, it was amazing. A little softer, a little creamier, less sharp, but still sharp, got that cheddar sharpness. We're gonna add it gradually, and then add our butternut squash. Maybe we'll do the butternut squash gradually and have some on the side for a little snack for me later, yeah. You're all jealous, I can feel it seething through the screen. Keep stirring this. About another uh, three, four minutes. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. So how's everybody doing, man? Doing well? Well, I guarantee one thing, I'm doing a lot better than you right now. <laughs> I just wanna have some more in front of you. That's how good this is. Mm. Oh, come on, man. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh. Delightful. Word of the day. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's raise the heat of our sauce a little bit so it'll heat up faster. Might need more cream because that one would do. Maybe we could just add a little bit of cheese because this cheddar cheese and then a little bit of squash. We'll just go as we go. Gradually, a little bit here and there, stir, here and there, stir. Just like that, man. It'll be awesome. Speaking of which, let's add some cheese right now. Just a little handful of cheese. There we go, about half of it. How much is this? It's probably about maybe about a cup and a half to two cups of grated cheese. Love it, let's melt it, let's mix it up. Let it melt in there. I'm gonna add some pepper to it later. Maybe I'll just add the pepper for garnish because this butternut squash has pepper in it. Don't want it to be too peppery. As much as I love the combination of pepper and cheddar cheese, don't want to overdo it, man. Ah, oh, awesome. Give that a mix. Continue mixing our pasta for about another, turn off the oven clown, bloody hell. There we go, for about another oh, minute or so. Oh yeah, baby, what a cook I am, baby, what a cook. Give this some more mixing. Cheese is slowly starting to melt. Let's raise it up to even more so it'll fastly start to melt. We can add our butternut, oh yeah, so good. You know what will help this probably melt even faster is adding some of the butternut now because it's still hot. It'll help everything melt. So let's get some of this, let's spoon some of the butternut off of the spatula or the masher and go like this. Ah, uh, oh, oh my God, you look good. All right, good old CNA made another, made another mess, man. You know what that means? It's gonna be gonna be successful as hell, baby. Uh, just mix that up, grab the extra carefully. Don't want to make too much of a mess. Don't want to be too successful in life, you know what I mean? All right. And the orange of the butternut squash is gonna combine with the orange of the cheese to mix with the milk. Give that nice, lovely, uh, creamsicle -y color. Oh, uh, love it. Our pasta's probably about ready. Look at me doing all these things at once because I'm a machine, baby. I am the best ever. All right, speaking of being the best, check out my streams, man, on YouTube, my live game streams. They're fun. <sighs> well, they are. Huh. Let's taste this one. Awesome. Good to go. Turn them off. Let's drain our penne. I'm going to burn my fingers off. All right. Heats off. Put it on back in there. Let's put it on here where it's not on, you know what I mean? Keep doing this mixed up. Let's add some more cheese. As in the, get, out, get away Kermit. There we go, as in the rest of our cheese. There we go. Awesome. Now it's probably a good time to use the whisker just to unclump and everything. You can, uh, you know what, you're gonna be introduced to that eventually, so go look at me, me make even more of a mess. There we go. Get the whisker in there. Oh, look at the color coming out of me. Just a, that soft, creamy orange, thanks to the squash and the cheese. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be so freaking good. Let's get that clumpiness out of there with the butternut. 
let it dissolve and get along and make out with each other. <sighs> so awesome. So awesome. Don't want to mix it up too much because it is, after all, heavy cream. Heavy cream, you go too crazy with the mixing. It really, really thickens it. We don't want a pudding in here. Let's do a little taste test of the sauce real quick. That is delightfully awesome. Holy crap. Let's add some more of our butternut. There we go. So, oh my God, it's so freaking good. Holy crap. So as far as how much butternut squash and stuff to use, just, oh God. Anyway, that was pretty much, well just, just play it by eye, your desired thickness, you know what I mean? I mean, this butternut squash was probably about two pounds. I'm probably using about a pound and 0.7 maybe of it. If you want a not as thick sauce, you just add more cream, maybe even a little water or more butter. Don't want to mix it up too much if you're using heavy cream. As I said, don't want a, a pudding sauce, you know. I mean, I made a mistake not too long ago. I thought, you know what? Let me try something. I have a package of vanilla pudding mix and I have heavy cream. Let me try making pudding with heavy cream instead of milk. Yeah, great idea, idiot. Trial and error. That's how things are, that's how you become successful. Trial and error. Well, it was an error. It became very, very thick and it was like, nah, it still tasted fine, but no, this is not the texture I want, man. It's, it just doesn't work, but there we go. All right. You know what, maybe we'll add a little bit more cream. There we go. So that's probably about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little less than that. Give it a mix up. Oh, the color is phenomenal. There we go. Got some butternut squash lumps in it still, but that's good. I like my lumpy. I like chunky stuff. Let's give our sauce a taste again. Ugh. That. I do, okay? Me, I do. I will marry myself and have sex with myself in my, my fucking mouth. That is awesome. <laughs> that is just awesome, man. Now we're gonna pour it over our pasta. Here, now you, yeah, you've done, you've had your place. Get out. There we go. Oh, this is so freaking. Oh, that, oh, that sauce is amazing. Damn. Turn off our stoves. Careful where you're touching this. It's hot. This is warm, so it's fine. Give it a nice mix-up. Look at that thick, creamy butternut squash sauce, man. Oh my god. I'm a big fan when it comes to mac and cheese. I love extra creamy, personally. That's my personal taste, baby. I love it. All right. And we got this much butternut squash mash left, baby. Oh, oh. God, it's good. Mm. Okay. <sighs> mm. Mm. Oh. oh, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh boy! Here you go. It's time to bowl it. Look at the sauce thickening, and it's oh, oh man. The only thing it's missing here, no, it's not necessary, but for the picture is maybe some kind of green fresh herb. I have coriander, but coriander might go okay with this, but I haven't pre-prepared it, so we'll just go without. I could probably sprinkle some dried basil on it or oregano. I'm such an asshole that I just do this all for myself and nobody else. What a dick I am. Man, look at the thickness. Look at the thickness of that amazingness. We don't want to go overboard. Let's grab some oregano. Here you go, dry oregano. <sighs> Two tippy tippies. There we go. Good. All right. Get out of there. Now, as usual, you're all selfish, boo. Take a picture, insert it right here. And there you have it, kids. Delightful, incredibly cool. It's so creamy, tasty, sweetness of butternut squash, the cheesiness of the cheese, the garlic, the salt and pepper. <sighs> yep. That's all I gotta say is, yep. Going my own way, the way a man should be going, for real. Get off the, the friggin' angry videos. Do something with your lives instead of all this pissing and moaning. 
instead of all this boogeyman shit going on. But this and this and this and this, this and this, we gotta be this and this. Yeah, well you can all be all boogeyman friggin' scared. I'm enjoying life. And I'll see you next time for another delightful, exquisite, sex-appealing episode of Toronto Guy Cooking Up a Storm.